Hello guys, in this video we're gonna make a bullet so we have something to shoot with and for that first of all I want to make a target we're gonna make 2d sprite circle target and I'm gonna place it somewhere on the right and now let's make a bullet 2d sprite square bullet let's not go too far and change scale of a bullet on the x to 0.2 and on the y maybe to 0.1 so it looks very small and I believe this kind of makes impression of a bullet so we can use it. I'm gonna show you how to create a bullet on the go when you click the button first and then we're gonna set up behavior of the bullet so it can fly and you know other stuff do other stuff. So what we need here we need to make this bullet to work as a prefab. Prefab allows you to create a new copy of a same object if say in short yeah that's kind of explains it. So let's make a folder here. It's going to be prefabs. And inside, we're going to drag this bullet. Now we have a prefab of a bullet. We can delete this bullet from the scene. And on the player, on the gun controller, we can go to the script. And here, I'm going to make a header, header bullet. And we're going to make serialized field, private game object, because we're going to create a game object of a bullet bullet prefab and we need serialized field private float bullet speed which we're going to use later now let's go to shoot function and here we need to instantiate a bullet whenever we want to it's gonna be super easy to do what we need here is to make a local game object so game object new bullet and this game object will be created when you call the function shoot so when you press the button it's going to be created we're going to set it up and then we're going to forget about it so we're gonna do instantiate yeah and that means every time you create a bullet you control new bullet and old one you don't control anymore so here we're gonna type bullet prefab for the position where we're gonna create the bullet we're gonna type gun position so we're gonna create it at the position of a gun and for the rotation yeah you can see actually what it requires when you call instantiate object position and rotation we're gonna type quartonian identity because we're gonna rotate it later according to the velocity of a bullet so now the task is just to create it all right uh, and basically that's it what we need for now let's just have it as a new bullet and let's go and try this yeah i'm gonna save the script back in unity and before we continue i want to say thanks to all of my patrons and give special thanks to friendly robot skt1 mighty poppy steven and gennady chen son and retro bad gamer Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. We're gonna have field of a bullet here. So I'm gonna open prefab folder, take my player, drag bullet, and make bullet speed maybe, I don't know, 15. Now let's go to play mode, and you'll see I can shoot bullets, but they are standing there at one place, which is not that bad. At least we achieved the goal of making a bullet. Now we need to make it move. And how do we make it move? We're gonna make it move with the help of rigid body and velocity. Same we do with the character. And because we know direction of the aiming of the gun that we calculated before, we can use the direction to set up speed of a bullet. Let's take the bullet and add component of a rigid body to D. Set gravity scale to zero. This is important. And after that, we can add box collider to it. Box collider. And we need to make sure it is set to trigger, is trigger. Now let's add script on this bullet. New script, bullet. I'm going to open the script, but I'm not going to type anything for now. Let's just keep it as it is. And on the gun controller, since we have rigid body on the bullet now, we can do new bullet, get component of rigid body 2D dot velocity. And we need to give it a velocity we want to. And because we're using direction as a local variable inside of the update, we need to find a way to pass it here. We have two options. We can make a variable just here, something like uh, vector3, direction, and then assign values of uh, this direction equals to mouse minus transform position, or we can pass it. And this time I want to pass the value. So on the shoot function over here, I'm going to do vector3 direction and this means whenever you call this function it requires a vector 3 value and it doesn't matter which one 
and here on the shoot we're gonna pass direction we're getting in the update like so now this direction gonna be passed here which gonna be passed here which gonna be used here let's type here velocity equals to direction and i'm gonna use normalize normalize basically cuts uh, vectors to one you know let's say there is a um, vector of a bullet like so and this is maybe like nine and this may be like eight or something and when you normalize it it just takes the value within uh, one just to know the direction so we normalize it and we multiply it by bullet speed so direction will give us just the direction of a vector and bullet speed will use to multiply the direction and make it fly faster like so uh, let's save this and try it now on the player we have bullet speed we have bullet itself i'm gonna go to play mode and try to shoot and bullet is flying out cool although it's not hitting the target and we can see rotation of a bullet is not correct it is correct when you shoot to the right or left but not when you shoot up so how do we fix it of course we could make bullet look like a square so it doesn't have obvious um, you know facing direction uh, just like so and this would work but i want to show you how to rotate it as you can see the red arrow shows that vector right goes there and we can change this vector right according to the direction that bullet goes so on the bullet script we need access to rigid body we can do private rigid body rb and this time i'm going to show you a new trick we can do return get component of rigid body to d now in the update we can just type transform right equals to rb velocity and to make it pretty let's just take this line of code and type it like so because we're not going to have anything else in the update here i believe all right this behaves basically the same as uh, this one uh, just so you know it just looks smaller but acts the same but you can do it only if you have one line of code okay and now this will change rotation as we want to and next step would be to make it shoot the target uh, let's try it out first now you can see it's facing as we want to and also you can see bullet is not getting deleted it flies far away there it is blinking and it's gonna fly endlessly so we need to have control over bullets because if you play this game for i don't know about 30 seconds imagine how many objects you're going to create right so what we need to do here to delete it is go to gun controller and just type here destroy new bullet after maybe seven seconds okay save it and now let's set up the target so we can shoot the target uh, we can just take this target and add a tag to it add tag it's gonna be target save now on the target itself we need box collider actually circle collider and it's going to take shape of a sprite and we need rigid body 2d and as of now let's make gravity scale zero okay just that now we have the target with the tag of a target don't forget to set it up here and make sure you set circle collider to is trigger now on the bullet itself we're going to make a simple function which is called on trigger enter 2d this will be triggered whenever bullet enters a trigger or actually enters a collider basically if bullet enters a trigger or if any other collider enters trigger of a bullet something like that so on the collision we want to check if collision tag is equals to target then we're going to destroy the bullet so destroy game object and we want to destroy the target as well so destroy collision game object like so and let's go to unity now that's all what we need here we're gonna destroy it i'm just gonna duplicate it a couple of times so we can have a bit of a fun yeah now let's go and try this i'm gonna shoot bullets like so and to see if they are deleted later now i'm gonna shoot the target Pew. 
here, bullet and target both destroyed, as well as the old bullets I created before. They're going to be destroyed in 7 seconds, and target is destroyed as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.